Welcome to a brand new podcast, and this is the Oracle 19, and my name is Greatness. For any business inquiries, you can, business inquiries, you can email me at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. Same email if you want to, any questions, concerns, you want to put your brand on this podcast, evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. Free will offering through our PayPal account, evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. You want to shop online to our baby shopper mall, evolutionoflondon.com. We have a whole wide range of different products. There's furniture, artwork, jewelry. So check that out, evolutionoflondon.com. Also, check out evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G. There we have custom clothing, accessories, digital products for uh, personal as well as business use. And finally, check out evolutionoflondon.store. We have shea butter, African soap, DVDs, etc. Evolutionoflondon.store, S-T-O-R-E. We have different affiliates. Different affiliates, you can check it out. Triple www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London. Check out our Patreon channel that we have videos that's now on YouTube. Triple www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of London for videos now on YouTube, digital products, consulting services. So check that out and subscribe. It's a monthly subscription, very affordable. So check it out. Check out the company Royalty 9 International dot com. It's a luxury uh, luxury candles, 12 ounces. They have 100% natural soy candles, uh, candle wax. They have scented as well as unscented candles. Now the scented candles, you can check out peppermint, jasmine, sandalwood, eucalyptus, frankincense and myrrh, just to name a few. And check out their social media. TikTok on Royalty 9 International. Instagram Royalty 9 International. And any uh, questions, concerns, email them at royalty9international at gmail.com. Music. Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. You have a whole wide range of different beats. So check out Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And once you go to his YouTube, uh, YouTube channel, you'll see his other social media sites. So like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And continue to train on YouTube. Greatness19. That's our educational channel to open up your third eye. So like, subscribe, and share the Greatness 19 channel. And also check out our health and wellness channel on YouTube, Mr. Evolution of London. That's our health and wellness channel. So definitely support that. We can use your support. Again, that's Mr. Evolution of London. Ari Bites Cafe, the Caribbean takeout located in downtown London, Ontario. The address is 91 Wellington Street North. 
again, London, Ontario, of course. Telephone number is 519-858-4743. And the hours of operation, Monday, Tuesdays, 12 to 6. They close on Thursdays. We open Friday, uh, Thursday through Saturday, 12 to 6, and then close on Sundays. They accept all forms of payment, including Interact, MasterCard, Visa. Please note that taxes are not included. Check out their website, www.irebites.ca. That's I-R-I-E-B-I-T-E-S dot C-A. So check out irebites.ca. As well as any questions, concerns, email them at info at irebites.ca. So again, as always, you can't go wrong. Mr. Will, he's been a fitness consultant for over 15 years. If you want to book a consultation, email him, healthfitnessconsultant1 at gmail.com. Once again, that's healthfitnessconsultant1 at gmail.com. And check out his merchandise, www.wjaaccessories.org. Again, that's www.wjaaccessories.org. Custom clothing accessories, as well as digital products. Now, the Oracle 19 is on all major platforms. We're on Anchor.fm, Google, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few. So you can find us... Uh, support if any information I haven't mentioned, you check out the Oracle 19 podcast, the Greatness 19 channel on YouTube, as well as Mr. Evolution of London on YouTube, and finally www.theoracle19radio.com. Okay, today I'm gonna talk about topic, I'll give my perspective as always, might rub you the wrong way a little bit. Or you might look at it as factual. Today we're going to talk about is today we're going to talk about the agenda. The agenda, and we're going to talk about question: Is the do the government have agenda to destroy the population? I know most of your individuals know the answer to that, but a lot of you do not or do not care. It's your choice. As you see things around you, I have a question for you. Is the pandemic a conspiracy? What say you? Is population control a conspiracy? What say you? Is the gay agenda a conspiracy? Is feminism a conspiracy? Is racism a conspiracy? Is these and much, much more are pushed by the powers that be to cause confusion. What say you? Because as you get have private jails or regular federal jails or own or state jails owned by government. Is this all part of a, a grand plan, a grand scheme of things? Because the more people they house, the more they have people under control. Is this a conspiracy? Again, what say you? Now, touching with these topics, talking about it, let's say we're population control. Now, 
the chemtrails. You look in the sky. For some some of you individuals, a lot of you individuals know, but it's, there's much more of the population that don't pay attention to this and don't know. So it's old hat to you, but it's new to others. If you look in the sky and you see coming from jets, 30,000 feet high, you see trails of clouds that is coming out of the back of a, a jet plane. What is that to you? Have you thought about it? You just see clouds coming from, from the back of the jet plane. And this jet plane is zigzagging throughout the sky. What is that? What is coming out of that jet plane? And why you see it so often in the sky? Is this a gender? There's a word called chemtrails. C-H-E-M. Trails. T-R-A-I-L-S. Go and Google that. Chemtrails. What say you? Is this cloud of mist destroying the air? Is this something that will, is this like a slow death for you, for the population? People getting all different types of respiratory issues after these planes, after these mists come from the come out of the back of their plane. People in cities, towns, villages having breathing problems after the fact, getting strange. Hives, skin issues for the ones that don't have a strong immune system. What do you think? Is this an agenda? Something to think about. The air that we breathe. Is this something to reduce the population control slowly? What about the foods that we eat? You go to the store. You buy some watermelons. Seedless watermelons. Seedless grapes. Seedless oranges. Is this a a gender? Now, the seedless grapes and seedless watermelons and other seedless fruits are delicious. They're so perky. They're so juicy. They last longer in your refrigerator. So, there goes, I buy, I shall, I need that. But is that good for you? Is that a slow death? Is that an agenda? An agenda. A-N. Agenda. Want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. What do you think? Have you thought about it? What say you? What about fluoride in your toothpaste? Fluoride, F, is part of periodic table. I'm going by memory here. I think uh, the periodic weight is 16. Correct me if I'm wrong, the number 16. I'm going by memory here. Believe me, I don't have nothing in front of me. This is just memory. 
and I could be totally off, but fluoride is F on the, my, on the periodic table. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, greatness not perfect. And I'm, again, being honest with you, there's not no paper in front of me. But you probably say, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. All right, well, okay, we leave as that. But anyway, continue. Fluoride is a poisonous gas. Go and Google that. It's used also, to my understanding, for rat poison, commercial rat poison, especially in the subways of NYC. Fluoride is also, like I mentioned, your toothpaste. Fluorine, fluoride. And is that a slow death? Now, the dentists tell you, yeah, brush your teeth. They brush your teethus or your toothus, whatever amount of teethus you got in your, your mouth when you go to the dentist with fluoride. Is that a slow death? What say you? Is this part of uh, agenda? The agenda. Reducing population slowly. If why did dentists uh, brush your teeth with fluoride, and then they got in the market fluoride-free toothpaste, and then they tell you that fluoride is not good for you, but then you go to the dentist, they brush your teeth with fluoride. They even give you sample toothpaste. Crest. Colgate. That a lot of it contains fluoride. What say you? The agenda. Is this all part of reducing the population slowly? What about feminism? Feminism, now this is a big topic. Women being me and free, do whatever they want, empowerment. No man can tell me nothing. I can do whatever I want when I want because I don't want to because I'm... I'm, 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 I'm Feminism. Is that part of a gender to separate the genders? Because if you have man, woman against man, because a modern day females, there's a difference. There's women and there's females. Big difference. Just like man and males. It's a difference. But modern day females. If they have this ideology and majority is low-key feminists or straight feminists and have no respect for the man principle and think they're just dumb and stupid, etc. You have separation within man and woman, there will be no more population, no more children coming out of that. So to reduce the population... Don't you think they keep feminism hot and heavy? Because as long as women is bitter, women don't respect men, women thinking they are just superior beings, women just don't care about the man principle, and that causes separation, don't you think? And the real puppeteer controls the narrative because there won't be no children coming out of that. Because guess what? The hatred that man and woman have for each other. Feminism. What say you? Is this this part of the agenda? Something to think about. Next, the gay agenda. I talk about that on other shows. Is the gay agenda 
pushing homosexuality. I was checking. I, I seen a movie. I, I wasn't checking out, but the movie there's a a commercial about a particular movie, a gay movie. Two men just I, and I, I I I get the gist of it. Two men having a relationship or whatever, and they and you see them in real time kissing each other. 40, 30, 30 to 40, 50 years ago, you it's unheard of to see that in movies. Now you have seen in real time. Openly being gay. Openly pushing the narrative. It are the, is the narrative being pushed? Is there an agenda? What say you? But guess this is something that is true. If you, let's say if, the, if more of the population become homosexuals, more and more of the population, you're eliminating children coming from that in the natural order of things, okay? Because to produce children, you take a man and a woman. You can't have two men, two two Ralphs, two Jeffreys producing children. It's just not going to happen. Now people are going to talk about artificial insemination and all that stuff. I mean, you got to do sperm doning and, and all of that. We, that's that's the, not the natural order of things. I'm talking the natural order of things. So let's not be simple here. The natural order of life is a man and a woman. Not two women, not two men. The natural order. Let's think, guys. Because I know we got people, oh, you know, the artificial simulation, we can take one, the spirit from here, the egg from here, put in another person. I, I know about all that. That's why I said specifically the natural order of life. But as long as you have the gay agenda or alleged gay agenda, eliminates and reduces the population. So the real puppeteers that is controlling society is reducing the population that way. So why would they not big up feminism and the gay agenda? My perspective. What do I know? What do greatness know? It is what it is. Creating violence. Is the government creating violence in cities to build more jails? To imprison people, of course, as part of it. To is this reducing the population when you have getting more people in jail? Especially adding is the government adding to the problem? Is the government adding weapons in the cities and then talking about it? Is the government putting guns in the big cities in the urban neighborhoods for them to shoot each other to reduce certain populations and therefore reduce populations in general what say you you tell me am I off am I off I don't know Violence is a billion dollar industry within the court system. True or false? More violence being committed in the cities, that means people got to be in prison. Slave labor in the jail system. Am I off? What say you?
Is this all part of the grand scheme of things of reducing the population? Government control. There's many books, hundreds of books you can Google on government control. What about the vaccination? The vaccinations. I got to be careful my words here. Because, you know, certain words could be triggering and can ban you from social media. Crazy as it seems. Vaccinations. And I'm saying it not correctly, but you are understanding it. Pandemic. Facts, throwing just key words here in a roundabout way. COVID, throwing in certain words. Is this part of the grand scheme of things? Many people will say no, because you need to be vaxxed is essential is necessary so you have the vax versus the unvax you had that battle and a lot of people feel oh you should be because this is going to help you and you being unvax you are the problem so they had that battle going on for two years but you can see all of a sudden, it's going, getting back to normal. Things is open up back again. And it's like, it was like a two, it's basically a three-year stretch. From 20, let's say March of 2020 to like a stretch, I would say, uh, 2023 winter. I'm giving you futuristic stuff, so even in the future, when you hear this, you'll be like, it's true greatness. My mother said (laughs) this will last until the president, Biden, is gone from office. They just stretching it out. And I never thought about it. I'm like, oh, my, I don't know. But she said, you know, you watch. You're just carrying over. All this is going to carry over from the Biden administration. And when he's out of office, all of this will dissipate. And then we'll set up something new. Government will have something new. Something my mother said. And I thought about it. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. I, I, I didn't disagree. But I'm like, eh. Uh, but it's It's kind of (laughs) right. Kind of right. You know, mothers know best, right? Is this agenda? The agenda. Part of the agenda. Reducing the population. And this is not the only vax, right? The monkey pot, monkey pot vax. You have vaxes in the past. Polio. You don't, you get one thing, you get another. But I'm going to ask y'all guys, do you know their ingredients? What's in their ingredients or what you taking? Do you know the actual ingredients that you are taking? Your children is taking, you taking. Do you know? What say you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. They say, they say is uh, this and that is vitamins and and potpourri and and all and it's delicious and it works the system and and make me do the Harlem shake it's great you should take it but you don't know the ingredients do you know the ingredients I'm pointing to you do you do you do you do you know the ingredients of these vaxes that you take do you how do you know you're not going to have an allergic reaction in the next five years. Well, I'm going to die anyway. It doesn't matter. So jump. Control, alter, delete. What say you? Is this part of the, the agenda? Something to think about. 
Do the government have utilizes ways to eliminate the population? All that's all the information that I just mentioned. Is this part of the ways to eliminate the population? Can't forget bad foods in general. It's even worse in the hoods. The meats is worse, and everyone in the hood people know. In the hood, the the foods are the worst. You have to go to the suburbs to get the better quality of food, or in the middle class or upper middle class neighborhoods. Is this part of the agenda? Racism is racism part of the agenda? The hate, the fighting, the killing. To make you not concentrate on who the real puppeteers are. The elitists. Do the elitists exist? Is the elitists masons? What what say you? Is this all an illusion that is around you? Life is an illusion. What you think it is, is not. And what is not, is. You never know. This is one big matrix that you live in or is it some things you need to think it's like a twilight zone that's why you gotta wonder why more and more weed or I should say, marijuana stores is open up everywhere. Why is it open up everywhere? And they make it more accessible for humans to partake in your kush. OG. Butterscotch, purple haze. No, I'm not a smoker, guys. How you know about all of this greatness? How you know? You sure you didn't take a toke in your life? No, I haven't. But I've been around family, friends, and foes that smoke. So I know the lingo. And I know it pretty good. But no, I haven't partaked. It's just what it is. Is this part of an agenda? If you in a, if you always faded, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Is this part of a government conspiracy? Is this? An agenda, the agenda, ways to eliminate the population on a psychological slash spiritual level. Because as you know, you don't, you could be dead internally just walking around. You could be like a, a egg with no yolk inside you, just an empty shell. Is this all part of an agenda? What say you? Drugs being more accessible to everyday humans. Is this an agenda? Again, what say you? Things to think about. 
Is the is this pushing the agenda conspiracy in general real? Or everything in your life is great and delicious? Just things to think about. I could go into many other things and talk about much more conspiracies. I could say about the educational system, the school educational system, dumbing down students, giving them less homework. Basically, the students nowadays in North America have to teach themselves because they're not getting any decent work. It's not really school anymore. It's not even school anymore. It's just one big daycare. Is this also uh, an agenda? Keeping the students dumb low-frequency students, so guess what? They won't be a threat to society. Is this part of our agenda? Being lazy. Everything is in front of you. We're in a technical world. You can make food quicker, just throw it in the microwave heat it up everything is quick and easy sometimes quick and easy is not the best is this also part of an agenda to give you a slow death again I could be just talking to him myself you could easily say oh you know greatness don't make sense this guy is dumb All right, I take that. That's your opinion. All right, it is what it is. But some of those things that I mentioned, I'm sure you can attest to it. And I will say this before I let you go. Reducing the population. Now I'm going to come from space with this. Now you really think I'm an off dude when I'm saying this. Aliens come into your midst in terms of your, the planet Earth and reducing your population. You're going to say, oh my God, greatness, man. I think you really off here. Well, the missing, there's missing children, missing adults every day throughout this world come up missing they come up missing and they know where to be found are extraterrestrials in your midst talked about that on other shows are they using you humans as lab rats Eliminating the population. And it is fact. People are missing. Young babies. Young babies are healthier. So extraterrestrials will use them first. Because it's fresher. Are they using these children for lab experiments as well as food? Is this also an agreement that they made with the U.S. government? It been alleged in the 1940s a pact was made with the ex- certain extraterrestrials. In exchange to basic technology, aka plastic, certain cures for cancer, or cures for cancer in general, 
is this true? I don't know. I, I, I heard this. This is some space, lost in space stuff. What do I know? Is this an agenda to reduce population? And, and where did plastic, who created plastic? Plastic bags, plastic containers. Who was the scientist? Who created it? I don't know neither. Do you do you know? It was basic alleged extraterrestrial technology given to the government in the 1940s, I think. Allegedly. I don't know. I heard. What do I know? I don't know. Okay. Is this part of an agenda? I don't know. What do I know? Things to... You have to do your own research. But there's a lot of... A lot of people have written books, hundreds of books that talk about a lot of these things. So, hey... If the, nowadays, if the government, or shadow government, or U.S. government, whoever wants to eliminate you, they don't have to come to your house. The technology is far greater than you can ever imagine. There's weapons that can shoot you with gamma rays a mile away. And all of a sudden, you have an aneurysm. All of a sudden, you just had a heart attack. Does this exist? Oh, sorry. I, what, what I'm talking about, I must watch too much sci-fi. Greatness, you watch too much Star Trek. <laughs> you, you watch too much Star Trek. There's no agenda here. What's the matter with you? What are you, retarded greatness? What do you know? the problem with you listen to your shows you be watching all of the sci-fi giving us sci-fi foolishness where's my pork where's my big piece of chicken honey get rid of this turn off this nonsense greatness is this is a goddamn fool what do he know honey uh, give me put a little gravy on that chicken here and let me eat let me, let me turn off this thing of what he's saying. This is me, me, Oka, simple minded dude on this podcast here. Guy's a freaking retard. Hey, hey, Paulie, what's wrong with this fool here? It's a freaking guy here. Freaking jerk. A freaking jerk. What are you talking about? This is a freaking jerk. Or Mama Luca right here. Hey, Paulie, this is freaking Mama Luca. Forget about it. Get rid of this jerk. Well, who can? Guess I'm one of those. Is there a shadow government? Did Hitler really die (laughs) that quickly? Or was he in South America at an old age? The agenda. Was they playing with technology, reducing the population since the 1940s? Don't know. What say you? There was Germany and the Third Reich. The Third Reich had the technology to eliminate and reduce population. Acts of so-called Jews. About elimination of population. I don't know. What do I know? Am I, I'm talking gibberish right now. I guess. So is it ways to eliminate 
and reduce population? And is the government, do they have that in place? Welcome to the agenda. Home of the brave. Built for the few, but not for the many. Thank you for listening.